In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to work with clones in the program, and clones being a perfect object of the original object that you've got, or piece of text, etc. Now to do that, I'll just create a new page here. I'll come over and I'll grab a piece of clip art that we'll use. I'll just scroll down and grab something here. Um, I'll start will do. I'll put that there like that. Now, to create a clone is very easy. I'll just come over to this flyout here, come down here, clone object. There's a copy of this tool up here clone object. So depending on what um, what mode you're in and etc you'll see this object uh, this this tool flyer. Click on that and I've got a perfect clone of this object here. So if I change its color or rotate it etc this this uh, clone here updates. Now if I create some copies of this clone and as you can see when I move that off there's this crosshair which indicates that it's a clone so you know the difference because if I move this object here you'll see how it's an actual object you can see the preview whereas if I move this one it's uh, just a cross here like that and I can uh, you know, change its colour and rotate it back do whatever I'm doing. That's highly advantageous because if you've got an object that you know you need to change throughout your page here you can easily create um, some clones of the original and then change the original once and all the clones will update. So that's a, a, a very handy thing to be able to have and a good, a good tool. Now sometimes you've got a lot of these things to do, a lot of clones or a lot of copies of a particular object. So I'll just grab another piece of clip art here. Um, this one's probably the easiest here, except I'll put that there like that, I'll make it a bit smaller. Um, I'll come into the object manager here and what I might do is break this apart and I'll grab this this here which is this 20, 20 node curve here and I'll make this a colour for example and uh, I'll group this back again and what I'm going to show you here is how to make a multiple set of this so if I put this up out of the way like that because the matrix array will come down when I uh, create one I'll come over this fly out again I go to matrix array and I click on that and you can see it places it in the top left hand corner here if I drag that over like that you can see it's making multiple copies of this original here and if I bring it down like that so if I had lots of these to do I can quite easily make like a, an array of these and then go cut them or print them or whatever I've got to do with them I click back on this object and because these are clones of the original I go back to this this set of nodes here and I might say make that red and as you can see it updates them all like that so it's a very easy way of making multiple copies or an array of an of a object as, as an array of clones, which as I say you can then go and cut them out or print them or whatever you want to do. So that's that. There's a similar thing to that as well, which is the circle, um, the circle version of that. So let's go back to page 2 here. I'll grab this one here I'll go um, place that on the clipboard, copy. I'll go back to page 4, I'll go control V and there it is. So let's say we wanted to do a circular version of this rather than using the circle tool. You'll, you'll see it will put up in the top left hand corner here. So I come over to this flyout again. I go over to Circle Array. Click on that. And you can see I've got these circles here. I can zoom out with the Circle tool. Now these are clones. So if I go to the number up here in the second row of tools, you can see as I grow that, obviously the radius has to grow because I'm adding more of them. Um, and you can see that it's created this circle array of this original object here. Now of course if I change its colour, they all change, as you can see. And if I rotate it again, they all they do the same thing. So that's a, a way of making a circular array of, of clones. And if I wanted to release these, um, these clones and make them just regular objects, I can click on this tool up here, Release. And these, it, it groups them when you do that, so just go Arrange, Ungroup and these are now individual objects so I can make that a different colour etc. So I've got these sorts of controls I can release the clones and that holds true for these ones here too I mean I can release these as well and these are now just ungroup them these are all individual objects that are you can do whatever you want with so that's how the clones work in Vinyl Master and uh, they're a handy tool to have and that's the end of this lesson